Hunde im Hodo! Run and no pro- You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track.
People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the banks with their prize, there is some... Your swoop fight was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I have waved the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, no... I might have something to say about that, Reggie. <coughs> what? Impossible. You are a You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Volkus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! <coughs> Those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that screw face? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Karthanasi is alive. Some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Please take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. 
My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by... I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand. In Kinku no Bamuli Ra Rundi Hadonga Kuhum Takum Justak Miki Gravel Moga Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Yumalith Shag Jikin Lord Jawa What?
Look at this, a real life celebrity. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you. Because. Welcome to the. watching you in the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches, and not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about... So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you. This cantina is wired with a top-level security grid. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, place to stay. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a... I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately... Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship... Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was... Just tell her Candorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch code... Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. 
You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match! In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who lay... And now... Is down, it's over, it's over, the fight is over. Bendex Star Killer is down. Bendex Star Killer is dead. Oh, hail the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace.
I'm here. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this, but we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet. If you want me to help you, glad to hear it. Kipuna, bona na kichu, kim ba mule radwana, don kim ba no kun. Kencho pa chawi ti chok twis yun kun, watu yama kama wona henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Tinku ukapa, topa no aska.
Kava dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu. Kipuna na bon sha, kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Kim kon shi kakachin awana bona nakachu. can I do? I'm here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here. I'm here. What?
Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned this meeting is a stroke of luck for me. Who dares to sp this? <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm here. Hmm? and good day. I am a good day. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days. This is too risky. We should find another- You got another plan, sister? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather- I can say the same about you. That while Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off top. You summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak? But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. 
The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to... No sense waiting around here, though. Yes. Yeah. 